Guys, welcome to the Kingfisher Trace Clinic. What we're doing today is our Walla Walla Traces. What we require for them is, and I'm gonna go through it quickly with you, American fishing wire, size seven and size six. Size six will be the lead. It's about 90 centimeters in length. The size seven uh, is gonna be between the trebles. Now this is a sliding trace. So basically it's for movement. Um, what we're gonna use is our number five or number six power swivel. Yamashita skirt and the Yamashitas are normally pink in color that we like. Our hooks, obviously size two for the bigger wallers, size four for the smaller wallers. Um, it's a 9430 DS. DS stands for Durasteel and obviously a chin weight. Um, this is the Pulsator one ounce. Tools that we require to do this trace, round nose pliers, a pair of side cutters, and just the normal long nose pliers, just so we can do the haywire twists properly. Our American fishing wire, on the back it will show you the haywire twist, so we're gonna work through this quite quickly because it is already on the packaging. This is the size six, so I'm gonna make it about 90 centimeters in length. Cut one of those off. Our size seven American fishing wire, our toothproof wire. I'm gonna cut three pieces about 30 centimeters in length. Easy just to measure it like that again, so you get them all the same length. Our treble, we only need three. If it's a longer waller, we'd use four. To do this, what we do is we go in from underneath and we're gonna wrap it around. So the easiest way to do it is just take your long nose pliers or pliers, pinch it, remembering to keep the welded one to the top, okay? So if you have a look there closely, you'll see this is the welded one, and these two are non, well I can't say they're not welded, but they're welded, but they're the bottom ones. So what we're gonna do is you're just gonna wrap it around. So we're gonna go around like that, put your finger over there just to hold it, and remember to come when you do put the tag in through the back. Okay. Through the back of the wire. So you can see how it crosses this wire here. And that's so if you do pull hard on it, if I went on the other side, it will actually come off and form a normal loop. This way, it just makes it a lot stronger and locks it in place. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this around six times our tag end. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. On the sixth one, this tag end to break it off, give it a 90 degree bend, and we basically work anti-clockwise. There we go. So that breaks it off nice and neatly. There's no burr on it whatsoever. First one done. We're just gonna repeat this whole process three times. So as you can see here guys, the welded eye of that hook is actually facing up, facing up, facing up. So that's pretty much how we want it to be. Now what we do is we take the first one and we make it about 15 to 20 centimeters in length. This is going to be the tail hook. Guys, very important to remember when you're doing the haywire twist to, uh, on this one and about 15 to 20 centimeters away, keep your round nose pliers 90 degrees to your actual treble. And I'll explain to you why as we go along. Okay, so let's just get it right, squeeze it, bend, bend, bend. Like so, and we just twist it quickly. Two, three, four, five times. 
get my pliers here. I don't actually need it. I'm going to keep this one, the tag in, and I'm just going to bring it to 90 degrees. So you see it's 90 degrees to the wire, and we're going to wrap this around six times to do the haywire twist. So here we go. Just want to make sure it's 100% straight, and it's not. Grab it there quickly. Just going to give it a little bit of a twist. So basically, the point of the hook of our treble on each side lies flat with the loop. And that's very important because what we do next is we actually take it and we bend it up almost to 90 degrees, like so. Okay, so the R over there lines up with that point of that um, treble hook. So we're just going to repeat the whole process once again. I'm going to put it through. And this is basically the whole idea behind it, is that it can actually move like this. So as a wall is doing this in the water, that's moving up and down. Okay, so that's what we're trying to achieve. And again, let's do it. Round those pliers. About 20 centimeters. Let's make it about 20. There we go. Like so. Roll it again. Twist it once. There we go. And we just put it next to one another. Just to make sure everything is right. So it's straight. And you can see there, that part there is in line with that part, which is perfect. So all we're going to do now is just bend it up slightly. And there we go. So you can see what's happening, what we're trying to achieve here. That one will be fixed. This one and the third one will move. So let's go again. Straight through there. Like that. And what we do now is we put our Walla Walla next to it so we get the right size and shape to do the measurements. All we do is we just take our Walla, stick our treble hook where we want it to be. And we always start measuring from the back to the front. Because sometimes you might need three, sometimes you might only need four trebles in it. So let's get our sizing right. And that would be almost perfect. Okay, so the pulsator chin weight that we're using is a one ounce. I'm just going to open this quickly. Okay, so there we go. The new banana pulsator chin weights. Stick it underneath the actual chin of our walla. Just make sure everything lies properly where we want it to be. That is where we need to make our haywire twist. So, so we just do the bend of it. We then take our pulsator chin weight. Stick it through. And all we're going to do now is our haywire twist. So there we go. Punch it with a pair of pliers, and I'm just going to move it around. Just make sure it's straight. One last attempt, and make sure everything is sitting straight where you want it to be. That one needs to come up a bit. Da, da, da. There we go. That one's going to sit there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the top. This is number six American fishing wire. I'm going to take our power swivel. And do this one quickly. And then I'm going to take my Yamashita and stick it on. So here we go. Hey wire twist again. There we go. Take our pink Yamashita skirt. Slide it on. 
the end bit of it. We're going to do again a wire twist, so we just do that. Now to finish it off, all we're going to do is take our tag end, run it down between the eye of the pulsator banana weight and our actual number seven wire. So I'm going to go through that loop over there as well as the eye of the hook. So we go through, like so, and around. Okay. Just change everything around. Haywire twist once again. So that is pretty much the finished trace. And you can see how this will move. Now I'm going to put the bait onto it. And you can see how we actually rig it. The bait part of it. There we go. Very simply, we're going to take our pulsator chin weight, lay it next to our walla, and just get our spacing right. So I want it to sit about there. So I'm going to go in under the chin and then straight up. So there we go. Under the chin, straight up. And you can actually see how nicely that chin weight sits in that walla. That's why we use it. It's absolutely designed perfectly for wallas. Second treble. Well, actually, I lie. That's the first treble. Or the third treble. Depends which way you're working. We're working from the top down. So that's going to be my first treble, yeah? The wire goes underneath it. The welded part sits up. And I want it to sit exactly how I've got it here. So I'm going to have to, if I can use this as a pointer, go in over there. Oh, no, I'm sure. Go in over there with the point of the actual treble. So let's do that. We're going to go back, just bending his head, and in. Very simple. Keeps it straight 100%. This part of it is the part that's now going to move because the back half of the actual walla is what is actually moving. So here we go. The second treble. I'm going to set it up so I know where I want it to go. I want it to go about there. And you leave about that much, a thumb length, where the trace can actually move. So roughly thumb length. There we go. So I want to go in at the back of that. So I'm just going to pick my thing up and in I go, down I go. There's the movement. Again, the last treble. I'm going to put it down there like that. I'm going to come from behind and slide it down. There we go. Okay. Slide down our Yamashita onto our chin weight. <clears throat> and there we go, guys. So there is our completed walla. Now, as you can see, as it moves, that wire flexes and doesn't tear. There we go. Can you see how the wire is actually moving? Get my hands closer to it so I can give it more movement. Another very important thing to remember with this Walla Walla trace or bait, if you're rigging your wallas and you're paddling, I'm paddling or on the ski boat I'm steering north, you want to keep your treble hooks on the outside, the treble hooks will be on this side. And of course, if the left-hand side rod, the treble hooks would be on the left-hand side, facing outwards. The reason being the cooter come in from the outside, they don't come in through your motors, but they're coming from the outside. So the treble hooks are always facing your, your cooter when they come in on the bait. So just remember that, cooter coming in on the right, keep that one on the right, put your other one on the left-hand side with the trebles on the left-hand side. Very simple. But there we go. There's our Walla Walla trace all done and ready to go. Enjoy, guys. Tight lines and catch lots of big cooter.